Five. Let's draw the free body diagram for this skier. We have F G acting down. We have F N acting perpendicular to the surface. And here we have force of friction acting up the slope. So the trick again here then is to figure out what is his net acceleration, F net. It's always the same, F net equals MA. So think about what is accelerating him. Well, only the component of FG that is parallel to the slope is going to accelerate him. So this component right here, we'll call it F parallel. And what's slowing him down? Well, the force of friction is slowing him down. It's a simple matter then of saying, since F net is equal to MA, it's also equal to MG sine theta minus the force of friction. Remember force of friction, M G cos theta mu. By rearrangement, we get A is equal to M G sine theta minus M G cos theta mu divided by M. In this example, we don't actually need the mass. The M cancels. Let's just keep it in there for the purpose of the fact that we have it. So 72 times 9.8 times the sine of 35 minus 72 times 9.8 times the cosine of 35 times 0.12 all divided by the 72 kilograms, you end up with 4.66 meters per second squared. And logically this makes sense because it's less than the acceleration due to gravity.